In the 1950s, Willowbrook State School became the site of a controversial medical experiment. Overcrowded and neglected, children with intellectual disabilities were deliberately infected with hepatitis as part of a study led by Dr. Saul Krugman. His goal? To better understand the virus. Krugman justified his unjustifiable actions, claiming that most children at Willowbrook were already at risk of infection due to the fact that 90% of the children at Willowbrook were already infected. Susan E. Lederer explains in 1997, Krugman believed the children were doomed to contract hepatitis, but his methods sparked profound ethical concerns. His research led to critical discoveries about hepatitis, including the development of a vaccine. But at what cost? The Nuremberg Code of 1947 set clear ethical standards after World War II, including the necessity of informed consent and minimizing the harm to subjects. Ezekiel Manuel wrote in the year 2000, the Nuremberg Code ensures that human subjects are treated with dignity, especially those who cannot advocate for themselves. At Willowbrook, many families were not fully informed of the risks. Children, often with no clear understanding, became subjects of dangerous research. The ethical lines were blurred, raising questions about whether the greater good could justify such exploitation. These ethical violations could have been avoided. One alternative method would have been observing children who were already infected rather than infecting healthy ones. As Gobit Passad noted in 2019, ethics demand minimizing harm while respecting vulnerable subjects and their basic human dignity. Another option was using animal trials or simulated models to study hepatitis safely, advancing science while ensuring informed consent and transparency were both being respected. Krugman's decision to infect healthy children believing it was inevitable remains one of the darkest chapters in medical history. Kelly Edwards reflects in the year 2019, the Willowbrook experiments skewed the balance of risk and reward, exploiting the vulnerable for societal gain. Although the study helped classify hepatitis A and B, the methods used violated basic ethical principles. As we look back, it's clear that the suffering endured by these children cannot be outweighed by scientific progress alone. Krugman's work did lead to scientific medical advancements, but at a moral cost we can never forget. Govid Passad highlights a crucial point. The long-term impact of unethical experiments extends beyond the participants. Society itself bears the consequences when ethics are ignored, he reflected in 2019. This legacy is especially troubling when the vulnerable, like the children of Willowbrook, are denied their rights and protections in the name of unethical research. The Willowbrook study stands as a stark reminder of the importance of ethics in medical human subject-centered research. The exploitation of vulnerable populations can never be justified, no matter the potential for scientific progress. As Kelly Edwards poignantly states in 2019, we owe a debt to the victims. We must ensure their suffering is never repeated. For further reading and resources on the ethics of human-centered subject research and medical research, Consider these sources, and remember, as future researchers, it is our duty to make sure that this never happens again. The future of ethics of your research is in your hands. Thank you.